Hi guys, I want to show you my top two ways of creating rounded corners in the UMG. And uh, to demonstrate this, I just have a widget here and it has a border. So this could be a border or it could be a button. And uh, the first easiest way to do this is to change the drawers type to rounded box. You'll immediately get these rounded corners. You can play with these values to change um, the amount of this um, curvature. Um, this is fine if what you're looking for is a solid color for your button and nothing advanced. But to work with something more advanced like a material with gradients or a texture that has a rounded, rounded um, corners, you'll need to use a material. Which brings me to my second method. So for my second method, I have this material right here. For now, I'm going to simplify it and I'm just going to connect this color to the final color. Ignore everything else here. And we have to set the material here. From the material, we need to clear this. So this is what we get. We get a material that's, that's um, the same as this one. It starts fully opaque and then it, as it goes outwards, it starts to become um, transparent. But this is not a, a rounded rectangle, uh, like a button. This is more over. So to fix that, we need to change the drawers to box. And then after switching to box, we need to change the margin to 0 0.5. Immediately when you do this, you'll see that you'll start to get this rounded corners. So to increase the curvature of this, we need to uh, play with the image size. So the higher you go, the more defined it is. So let's try 250. You have to press compile to see the difference. And there you go. Um, it's more defined, so you can go higher if you like. So the advantage of this method over the first one is that we can use the material to texture the button. So it's not just a solid color. As you can see, we are going from fully solid, fully opaque to uh, transparent. So we can also add a gradient here, which is what these um, other instructions are for. So if you connect this lap here, we get a final color, which is um, a gradient that starts from green to um, to pink and then opaque, fully opaque. So the opacity section is here. I'll cover this material later, but it's not covered in this um, video just so that we can keep it short. If you come back here, you can see that uh, we have uh, a material that's um, different from just a solid color. You can actually mess with it at runtime. For example, if this was a parameter, you can change this at runtime. And your material, I'm sorry, that's a little crash that happens a lot and your material will, um, will update. So, yeah, basically this is how you do it. Um, this tutorial is kind of like a segue for my um, Fortnite Festival playlist. Uh, this is where we are recreating um, Fortnite Festival in Unreal Engine 5. And we are using this plugin, Mid Engine Rhythm Tools. So if you want to see how we did, we are doing these buttons, which are like fake. The buttons that they're that using here, right here, these are 2D buttons from what I see, even this, right? but they, they, they look like 3D, so they're fake 3D buttons which are 2Ds. So to see how we are going to approach this, um, I recommend you just watch uh, the entire playlist or just skip to the video you're interested in. Thanks.